Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 9. How are organizations across different industries detecting adversarial manipulation, protecting their machine learning systems from attacks, and responding to attacks? A recent paper on industry perspectives in adversarial machine learning explores how 28 organizations secure their ML assets. The research is based on two personas, developers, ML engineers, and security incident responders. The organizations span Fortune 500 companies, small and mid-sized businesses, government, and nonprofits. Despite the compelling need for security, 25 out of the 28 organizations indicated that they don't have the right tools in place to secure their ML systems and are explicitly looking for guidance. The findings indicate a need to engage ML researchers to improve the security development lifecycle for industrial-grade software. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 12 for more. It's a common perception that America's political system is failing to meet key economic and social challenges of our current times. In their new book, The Politics Industry, Catherine Geale and Michael Porter apply competitive analysis tools to show that our duopoly political system leads to partisan gridlock and functions as many other competitive industries do. Their nonpartisan strategy identifies two key areas for change, how our elections work and how we make our laws. Giel and Porter's excellent book has won praise from reviewers like U.S. Senator Mitt Romney, New American CEO Anne-Marie Slaughter, and Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 12 for more. Using more than one cloud service, or going multi-cloud, is increasingly the norm for companies. Here's one simple chart that shows data from six different surveys with release dates ranging from May 2019 to May 2020. The results consistently show that a vast majority of respondents worked at companies that use multiple cloud providers. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you. Music